what is up Rogers Army, <coughs> my name's Ryan, welcome back to my channel, of course, and a, a new vlog, um, <coughs> uh, oh, I hope you all had a good Christmas and good new year, uh, I certainly did, I was with uh, Jasmine for new year, and let's hope 2023 is going to be a good year. Uh, so, for us all, um, because I've been like I've been like so busy uh, the past few weeks trying to do things. And just like chilling basically without doing any, any videos or anything because I need to get time on my own without doing videos. I have done videos, uh, like my TikTok videos put up, uh, done Christmas videos, but I thought I need to at least give myself a break from YouTube for a while and then, but big things are going to happen. Uh, I am going to start doing more things for YouTube and my modelling career and that as well. Um, and I'm hoping that we do like uh, different things and basically uh, getting down to business and doing uh, more getting uh, more vlogs out there um, and the only vlogs I'll be doing is like abandoned inter abandoned buildings uh, interviews pranks of course and my TikToks modelling and I'm hoping to do more things than that as well um, I know you all like my TikToks. Uh, because I know some of you like to have a laugh. But that's what it's about, having a laugh with TikToks and videos and that and that as well. Uh, my last TikTok videos are done. Uh, not that I do it for the views or anything, but when I, the last time I checked on my TikTok views, was over 200 views on the one video alone but the last two videos i done tiktoks i got well over uh, 10k uh, but i don't do uh, videos for views or anything i just do it for fun as well as doing uh, things what I like to do and of course I like to do YouTube things uh, and getting equipment for different things for YouTube um, but Santa was good to me because I got a new camera uh, for my Christmas I got my new camera uh, from my mum and from Santa even uh, not I can't say Santa doesn't exist because there's kids watching. Santa does exist, kids. Uh, but that, yeah, that's what I got. But I'm going to try and keep this for good and better vlogs. Uh, vlogs that I'm going to start doing more things with. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do like uh, abandoned buildings when I'm doing things like that. Uh, when I'm doing interviews. Uh, and more vlogs on here as well uh, but until I can get the right content and doing more things on my camera then I'll do proper uh, videos and that as well on that but until I'm going to be using my phone uh, so yeah I've had a good week uh, 
Sunday there, um, I went to and see the panel uh, with Jasmine's mum and her auntie. Uh, and I would like to say a big thank you to her mum uh, because Jasmine was supposed to go, but unfortunately Jasmine felt ill, unfortunately, and Jasmine couldn't go, so, um, tra so me, uh, Jasmine's mum and her auntie said, went to go and see Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and in that is, there's, uh, Grant Stott, uh, Scottish actor and radio DJ. Uh, Grant Stott is well known for playing on River City. It's a Scottish uh, soap opera kind of thing like Carnation Street, but a Scottish version of that. Uh, so is Jordan Young and Alan Stewart. I'm not entirely sure what Alan Stewart that uh, has been in, uh, but I know Jordan uh, Jordan Young was in Scott Squad. That's brilliant, and he's in also River City with Grand Stop. But he's also been in other things like Still Game and doing other things in that as well. Uh, Scott Squad is a police kind of thing uh, how would I describe it I don't know it's just like basically what police Scotland basically do but it's a comedy kind of thing and that's with uh, the Scottish wrestler Grado in it as well and other Scottish people uh, that's in Scott Squad but the panel was absolutely hilarious. Uh, Grant Stock uh, was hilarious. Alan Stewart and uh, Jordan Young. But I would like to say a big, big massive well done to them, like on putting on a great show. Uh, I will put it in the description uh, where it was because it was in the festival theatre. Uh, this isn't a free ad or anything. But if you still want to go and see Snow White and Seven Dwarfs at the festival in Edinburgh the Theatre, um, there's still tickets available. Uh, I'll leave a link down below if you can find one. And uh, tickets are available till the 22nd of January, so get there fast and go see Grant Stop. Jordan Young and Alan Stewart and I'll probably probably know a lot of their famous faces in there as well. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave I'll see if I can find a link and you've got to go fast because it's you've got at least another couple of weeks till it panel's finished. Uh, so this isn't a paid sponsor by the way or a paid advertisement uh, but I absolutely enjoyed it it was absolutely hilarious so big thanks to uh, Jasmine's mum uh, Maureen uh, or as I know her uh, Mo because I've known uh, them quite a bit and me and Jasmine have been together for two years uh, and her auntie as well, I would say a big thank you to her as well for uh, getting to know her more as well and when, when, I come, when it comes to people I'm quite kind of half and half with new people uh, but anyways I do have a lot of big projects coming up and I'm hoping to do some other things and that as well uh, like because uh, for YouTube and for my modeling um, 
Um, I'm just hoping that I can maybe at least try and get things done. Uh, I'm hoping to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, we're halfway there. And just hoping to, like, when I get, I want to say, like, when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do, try and do something big. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we'll just have to, just have to wait and see what uh, we'll, I'll, I'll be doing. Uh, but because I don't get paid for the YouTube or anything, uh, I won't be getting that sorted. Uh, because you'll have, have to be able to like monetize your videos to get paid through YouTube and I've not done that yet. But I'm not eligible to get to be paid through YouTube unfortunately because I've not got a thousand subscribers uh, yet. But hopefully we're halfway there to a thousand subscribers. I just need for you to all smash that subscribe button down below as well guys. Uh, and push the bell to be notified when a new video drops. But yeah, that's what I'm hoping for to happen is to sort like what I'm doing for the YouTube and do other things and it's hard work, yes. I'm not gonna lie. But when it'd be easy it's just trying to find the con the right content for you. Uh, so I just have to wait and see what happens on this video. Uh, just have to wait and see what happens in the next few months or so to see what ha what what's going to happen for YouTube and uh, me and Jasmine we're going to start uh, once uh, Jasmine's a lot better uh, excuse me uh, once, once Jasmine's a lot better uh, we're going to try and at least sort things out and um, we want to try and be able to <coughs> uh, get at least our own house together uh, we'll probably end up getting our, our own house maybe in the middle of the summer at some point uh, because we'll have to sit down with parents and see where things go um, I want to be able to do get more independence uh, because I know for a fact that I might not want to stay here uh, I mean I love my mum and that but I want to be able to get, uh, get more independence because one of these days I might not have my mum again I might not have my, have my mum and I need uh, to get more independence and do like do like certain things like when I get more house and that and I'm just like thinking about the bigger picture here on on my future not in what uh, people other people want uh, my future on the uh, if me and Jasmine uh, are still together. We never know what happens in the relationship these days. But me and Jasmine uh, like to fix things and do more things than that and together. Uh, because me and Jasmine we're like a, a team together. 
so yeah that's what we're hoping we're hoping to do is in the next few months we might end up uh, getting a house together uh, we'll have uh, assisted living and if you don't know what that is it's uh, having support workers coming in to see us every so often helping us to do like washing up uh, cooking uh, making sure that we're all right in the house and making sure we're paying our bills and whatever else but I think the way we'll get our uh, bills paid for us I think that that's how it works I'm not entirely sure uh, but when I eventually start getting paid through YouTube and getting paid through modelling uh, I'll be able to sort things out with that uh, not that I'm one I'd love to have a uh, work for money not that I want to do it for money but I'd like to earn my keep and keep myself happy keep Jasmine happy keep a roof over our head over to over our heads and like just doing uh, things together and I mean, as I said, me and Jasmine have been together for two years and we want to be able to try and at least get our own independence. Uh, whether people like it or not, we're going for a house together. Uh, but it'll probably take longer for us to get a house when it might not uh, be long because with us having disabilities, we might get a house that's won't get a house that fast i can tell you that for now we won't get a house that fast uh, but with us having disabilities uh, we might just a wee bit get a house a wee bit faster unless my mum eventually chucks me out uh, she wouldn't actually have chucked me out uh, she has said it in the past but as a joke I'm going to put that disclaimer there. Uh, it, she has done it, and it has it's just like it's just a joke. Kind. My mum wouldn't actually throw me out on the streets just like that. Uh, but it's all just for a joke, for a laugh. Uh, but it would be. I'll be great to have like more independence and having more house with Jasmine or just like having more house uh, doing things on my own I mean I'd rather have some someone staying with me to, to be honest or having someone to talk to in the house because being yourself I'm looking at four walls all the time, it's not healthy. Where if you've got someone in the house with you, you'll be able to talk more to each other. Uh, and I've got a lot of family around me that's quite supportive uh, around me for doing this kind of thing, for doing like YouTube. Uh, like, I used to say like chase your dreams on uh, things and that but I don't chase, your, chase my dreams anymore this is what I'm planning to do and um, yeah that's pretty much what uh, uh, what the plan is uh, for this year for 2023 and um, I think It'll be, I think it'll be great having a house with Jasmine, definitely. Uh, or whatever, uh, if I have my own house then I can have Jasmine coming to my house. 
and she can stay at mine, whatever. But I'd rather probably uh, have a house with Jasmine rather than being stuck between four walls and not talk to someone. I'd rather have spend the rest of my life with Jasmine. And uh, yeah, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Uh, but we'll, we'll just have to play it by ear and see what happens. Uh, I have googled about things and that as well. Uh, doing uh, what I've said in, in this video about other like what I'm planning to do on my videos uh, about abandoned buildings. Uh, Jasmine has also told me about things and that as well. You aren't able to go into abandoned abandoned buildings. You cannot give out the location where you're going to be because you don't want people going there and destroying the place. But I'm not. I don't do that. I was brought up to be to have respect and that's just the way I, I was brought up to have respect for other people and other people have their opinions on things. I may be too opinionated on, on things but that's just me. But uh, yeah, as I say, abandoned buildings, you can go inside them. Uh, but if you get caught by the police or anything, uh, they will tell you to leave and you just leave. You don't have an argument with them, you just leave, say okay I'll leave and that's what it's all about, it's just respecting uh, the building, respect the authorities and that's a big word for me. I'm going to try and do like interviews with local musicians or something. I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll just have to wait and see how that one pans out. Uh, and I'm still looking to prank Jasmine again. I've not done one in ages. And because she got me back. Because I remember this was a good while ago, just last year. And she put a whippy cushion on that chair, thinking uh, that's, that's like an old prank thing to think, putting a whippy cushion on the chair and somebody sits on it and it makes a loud noise. Uh, it makes it sound like they're farting, pretty much. But I've got a gear it. She, it was, she, did, she did pull it off. I did get her at one point. But I just have to wait and see what happens. I need to try and be sneaky. Uh, I have do, I have got other pranks uh, in mind. Just have to wait and see uh, what pranks because you'll just have to smash that subscribe button down below for to get these videos but in the meantime guys i'm going to love you and leave you uh, make, as i said make sure you smash that subscribe button down below uh, it'll be awesome to get to a thousand subscribers and when i get to a thousand subscribers that's when i'm going to uh, do something big we never know what's going to happen but like my content as well, uh, share my content as well out there, get it far and wide, share it to your friends, your family, your pets, whatever, and whatever else. But in the meantime guys, thanks for watching my videos as well, uh, and getting my view, getting everything on viral not that i don't want to go viral like but it'd be awesome but in the meantime guys we'll see you on the next video peace out